Well, for cognitive sensations installation in London's Cube, Marcus and I asked, what happens in an artistic setting when we draw people's attention away from mediated screen-based experience? We created an immersive artwork in which participants sit alone before five numbered bags, each containing an unknown object. Without the customary benefit of vision, how did engaging solely by touch differ centrally and psychologically? So the digital age or the information age has radically altered the way in which we behave, the way that we socialize, the way that we connect, the way that we relax, the way that we interact in general um, with the world around us. I'm, I'm interested in how through the internet, through the widespread dissemination of, of visual imagery and art, um, this has changed our experience of art, this has changed our experience of seeing and our experience especially of, of receiving imagery and sending imagery. So we're in this interesting situation where technology has evolved at such a rate of knots. We're just figuring it out as we go along, we're figuring out how to live with it as we go along and so I think the work is is constantly trying to keep up and trying to make sense of our relationship to the technology. The idea of walking long distances without leaving home is a physical expression of our current limitations as artists and parents with ties to domestic space and works with an ambivalence towards the assumed identities generated around motherhood. The S project explores the radical potential present in the circular, fugal and domestic walk set against male colonial adventuring narratives and feeds into a dialogue about feminist walking and journeying practices. I have always been interested in understanding all these forces that form our experience of the three-dimensional space, our environment, how our perception, our comprehension of space is alternated due to all these things that happen in a realm that we cannot make sense of, not with our senses, at least. In my mind, this realm is the fourth dimension. I think in the contemporary world we exist in now, there is still such a huge amount of positivity and I don't think that saying the country or the world is riddled with negativity is a good idea at all. If everybody thought that, then it'd be a far worse place. And to give a little gratitude is absolutely necessary, a fundamental part of human kindness and existence. All the transactions and interactions in a digital space are in some way transitory. They are not grounded in the same mechanisms or embodied tangible experience that I think human beings need. The things I do, whether they're drawing, performances, video, they're all, they're all ways of looking at digital processes, processes maybe of reproduction or of transmission of information, and then mimicking these processes in an analogue way, taking these processes and slowing them down and seeing them through the lens of, of human labour.